Hey everybody, Brooks from Drag Times here. Welcome to the channel. If you're new today, I got some Tesla news. We got two new records for both the Tesla Model 3 and the Tesla Model S. And I take my own Tesla Model 3 out drag racing and then I do some testing on just how low you can go uh, down in the battery state of charge where the performance really starts to drop off. So unfortunately, when I hit the track with my Tesla Model 3, I charged up at the supercharger and planned on topping off at the track. Unfortunately, the charger that I brought, or actually the 1450 chargers that they have at the track, were tripping up my uh, Tesla charger and uh, it kept tripping the breakers inside. I had to reset it, so I wasn't able to get to 100% state of charge like I wanted to to go for the record. So, unfortunately, you'll see what I ran at just over 80% charge, which was in the 11.6s. And then I'm going to do some testing, or I'm going to show some testing where I did a full uh, draggy test quarter mile at 20, about 25% state of charge. Then I went to the supercharger, brought it up to just over 50%, tested it again to compare what I had run at 80%. And then, of course, we have the record, which was actually a 11.4. I'll put a link in the description so you can watch that video on YouTube of him hitting the 11 or the 11.4 in the Tesla Model 3 which is the current record, uh, very impressive. Most of the Tesla's Model 3s are running, you know, 11.5, 11.6. So this 11.45, I believe, and the mile an hour is very impressive, tripping over 117 miles an hour. On to the Tesla Model S, that just came into the dragtimes.com website running a 1051. So uh, these Raven cars are getting pretty quick. Actually, my friend Jason, uh, unplugged on uh, Instagram who's got the Tesla Model X P100D that we were racing. He just picked up the new Model S Raven uh, long range performance. So now we have a local car in our group here. I think we're going to head out maybe next week and run the new Raven Model S at 100% state of charge. Go for the new world record, hopefully tripping in the 10.4 range. And I think the plans are to run that Tesla Model S versus my P100D right over here, as well as my friend Luke's Lamborghini Huracan Evo, which should be going 10.6. So we got a 10.5, 10.6 race between the Tesla and the Huracan Evo. That'll be pretty cool. And if we can get side-by-side -side races of the Raven versus the uh, My P100D, that'll be awesome as well. So all right, I'm going to go ahead and roll the footage of my Model 3 making a couple passes down the drag strip. And then I'm gonna show you what the Model 3 did uh, at 25% uh, charge and 50% state of charge. Just to show what the difference is, is how low you can actually go and expect to uh, get that top performance out of your Model 3. Also, if you missed it from a previous video, it was kind of mixed in the uh, Urus versus Model X, but I did run my Model 3 versus the new Raven Model X, and that uh, beat me pretty good. So if you missed that, I'm gonna roll that at the end as well. Sixty-three point two again. And at least we got the draggy that time. All right, here we go with our low range test, just 79 miles of range, about 20, 25%. Let's do it. Still feels pretty quick. There's 60.
right, here we go, back from the supercharger, and we're at about 55% state of charge. Let's see what it does. All right, so there you go. You saw the results at uh, roughly a 78%. We got 11.6 in the quarter mile at the actual track. Dropping down to 55%, we're getting 11.8 in the quarter mile. Dropping down to 25%, we're getting 12.2 in the quarter mile. I personally feel like the Model 3 performance launch is quite weak. I feel like Tesla could do a little more on that. There's no launch control. Uh, put the comments down below from all the Tesla people who maybe know a little bit more. Do you think Tesla could come out with a launch mode for the Tesla Model 3 to drop this down even farther into the much lower 11s? Probably 11, 2 in the quarter mile was just a little more oomph off the line. Another interesting data point is we have some time slips that came into the Drag Times database of the all-wheel drive non-performance Model 3. And these cars are running low 12s at still 114 miles an hour. So I'm kind of thinking that that's actually all the same hardware in the Model 3 and the performance and the non-performance. And Tesla's just, if you look at the actual time slip data, it seems like they're just kind of holding back that launch. But on the top end, all the power is there. I would bet if you raced the uh, from a roll, the two cars, the all-wheel drive and the all-wheel drive performance, they're probably dead even on the top end. It's all about that launch, which is giving the performance those quarter mile times in the mid 11s. I'm not sure if anyone out there has actually verified that the hardware is exactly the same and maybe it's possible that you could buy the non-performance version and upgrade that later on via just software. That'll be interesting to see as well. As always, thanks for watching. If you want to see the upcoming videos that we are coming with the Model S, first Raven Model S and the Evo and the Huracan, make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll keep them coming.